Hey, how's it going everybody? So I've got another video testing out Melosi at plus 20 and that turned out to be a really popular video which makes me think that people, because this is the current Hero of the Month, people are curious to see um, what they look like on defense. So I found another one that's not plus 20 but it's at plus 13 and up on the flank and um, we're going to see, get another uh, perspective on this particular hero I'm going to be using my yellow team which has every hero has a buff or debuff type effect to them so he's a good counter to my team so you'll get a um a uh, realistic representation of um what he's capable of on a team that has more buffs to it so Kenshin at plus 19 is also a problem as well and uh, can be so let's see, you got two flags to use here. I'm just filling up my raid chest. Okay. Pretty good board. So that's interesting is that the mana that they all gained on the first turn, Melosi doesn't have that much more than Kunshin does. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. We don't have to worry about charging them up, and I wanna try to bring some more tiles in so I can use my specials elsewhere. Yep, oh, almost. Almost didn't set her off. Uh, since Gazelle has low health, I think Francois is the current biggest threat. Alright, now we can just look at Melissa. So yeah, I didn't save my D spell. Oh. Let's go another round since Gazelle was still active. Oh, but we can kill what's her name. Nope, we need Gazelle for the extra punch, but I didn't want to get that effect going again. Okay, so in terms of his speed, I don't think there's any confusion that very fast is the most ideal speed, so he's already ready to go again. Really has something against regard there. So this is the non-buffing regard, so what happens if we use him? I'll cast status effects. I don't think this will have any impact on him, no, because he's not a status effect. The costume regard does have all status effects, so the buffing and whatnot would be blocked. All right. So, if there's anyone that isn't entirely sure on what this looks like, for one, Gazelle can cleanse that. Any any cleanser could take that away. It's not undispellable, but if I try to use Proteus if I wasn't paying attention, he does nothing. So, cool effect. Uh, in my opinion, it's only good at very fast speed, just based on how many... Um, based on uh, how many people it affects. So it's only it's only hitting um, one hero, so I feel like it needs to be very fast speed. With that in mind, 667, and here are the stats for who he dealt that to, and these are the stats that he's hitting with. 1,000 attack, which is still less than uh, 
in this fully emblemed Guardian Jackal. But yeah, 667, that's what it's going to be on defense. There's a 20% attack boost, so uh, subtract about a fifth from that if you're planning on embleming, embleming him as high as he is now. So what's a fifth of 660? Uh, like 130, somewhere around there. Um, so that's an approximate idea of what kind of damage he's dealing. In my opinion, he's pointless to use on defense. Unless, you know, if he did the same thing to three people, sure. But only doing it to one, he's pointless on defense. So um, he's definitely very good on offense and perfectly timed with um, the most dominant meta that we're seeing right now with the Teluria and all the dot damage because he can... You can block those. Um, so yeah, if I had gotten him, I might consider using him as part of a stack with Jackal or something like that. Um, but I could not get him after doing many pulls, so I'm just going to let that one go. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was a helpful additional look. I'll try to remember to link the, um, the first video I did with him in the description of this one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.